Guys, what do we do if our rights are violated? We go to the courts, right? And there they pass judgments and provide justice to us. And who pass these judgments? The judges. And up to that point, we know what is happening. But have you all ever wondered who are these judges? Are they people like us? Who appoints them? What is the procedure for this appointment? See, as far as the appointment of judges is concerned, you have to know about one important term. Collegium system. It is an Indian specific concept. If you are an UPSC aspirant, you know what I am talking about. But for others, see it is a system by which the president appoints the judges of Supreme Court and High Court. But do you know, there is this short lived commission or committee which was created for the appointment of judges. Do you know about it? What was that committee? How was it created? When was it created? What is the implications of this creation? We will see everything. But before, hi, this is Keetana from Shankara A's Academy and you are watching special videos from Shankara A's Academy. If you want to know more about this short-lived commission, continue watching this video. First of all, understand that the National Judicial Appointments Committee was introduced to give the executive a say in the appointment and transfer of judges in the upper judiciary, that is Supreme Court and the High Court. And in the year 2014, Parliament enacted the 99th Constitutional Amendment Act. See, this amendment only introduced Article 124A into the Constitution. And it is the Article 124A that provided for the composition of National Judicial Appointments Committee. So basically, through 99th Constitutional Amendment Act, our Parliament created the National Judicial Appointments Committee, which is shortly referred as NJAC, as a constitutional body. And this is to replace the collegium system. See, here you have to notice one thing. The 99th Constitutional Amendment Act received the unanimous assent of both the Houses of the Parliament except for one opposing vote from Rajya Sabha. And also know that the amendment received assent from 21 state assemblies. The NJAC was brought to ensure two things. One I already mentioned. It is nothing but to give the executive a say in the appointment and transfer of judges in the upper judiciary. And the second thing is to ensure transparency in appointment and transfer of judges of the Supreme Court. So this is about the background of NJAC. Now let us see about the composition of NJAC. See NJAC is a six member body. Firstly, there is the Chief Justice of India and then two senior most judges of the Supreme Court and then the Union Law Minister and finally two eminent persons. See, these eminent persons were to be nominated by a committee consisting of Chief Justice, Prime Minister and the leader of the opposition in Lok Sabha. Now, there is a condition for these eminent persons. See, these eminent persons, they were to be nominated for a three-year term and they are not eligible for renomination. And this is about the composition of NJAC. How many members are there? Six members, Chief Justice of India, two senior most judges of Supreme Court, Union Law Minister, Two eminent persons. Now let us see what happened to this NJAC. See in the year 2015 the Supreme Court through the four judges case struck down the 99th Constitutional Amendment Act. So what was the reason behind striking down the NJAC? For this the Supreme Court said that primacy of judiciary is one of the basic structures of the Constitution. So, NJAC, by giving the executive some power in the appointment of judges, is diluting the primacy of the judiciary. And for this reason only, Supreme Court said that it struck down the 99th Constitutional Amendment Act. And remember, this happened in the year 2015. And also remember, it was struck down by four judges case. This is all you have to know about the National Judicial Appointments Commission. Now, if you want to know more topics like this, subscribe to Shankara A's Academy's YouTube channel. And if you are an UPSC aspirant and if you want to know more polity topics like this, watch daily Hindi news analysis of Shankara A's Academy.